Hello again, this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and I have a pan with no color in it and a dustpan with no color in it and a shovel and over there I have a 15 inch, I believe, 15 inch by 30 inch canvas and I want to do something fun. <laughs> when don't I want to do something fun? Uh, and I want to make up a pan of colors that I'm going to use for my flowers and I wish I was using the copper I said I was going to use to myself earlier, but oh well, never mind. And maybe if I separate these on two sides a little bit, I can um, change up my design a little bit. I don't use nearly enough of this blue right here. And I want a bunch of white in here. White metallic to be precise. And I would like some gold, and I did mix some gold that I could use. I don't know how that's going to be. What else? What else? What else? I like this turquoise. I like my other turquoise, but it's very dark. So I think I'm just going to give myself some of this. And is that the same color I just used? I don't know. We'll find out in a second. No, it's not. It's a wonderful color. That is an Art Minds color. I'm not sure what it is, but... I kind of think you should recognize it if you go and look in Michael's for the Art Minds products, you might see it. So I don't know how much of this I'm going to need, to be honest with you. And I do know that I am fully capable of coming back again and adding more colors, so that's probably what I'll do when I'm ready. And in between then and now, I have another purple color, and I want it in that mix. Can I have it? Maybe not. Maybe I will just take the initiative now that I've shaken. Oh yeah, that's a great color. And it occurs to me that I like what happens every time I use some Prussian blue. I'm so not done with this. Whoa, okay. <laughs> that was interesting. It's a little clogged, but not completely. And I said I was gonna use some of this blue and then I didn't do it. So I'm gonna grab just a little bit of that. Now the other thing that I want to do is mix up some stem colors. Whoa, do not dump that can of paint over. I am learning not to, not to overfill my containers. And I am going to put some gold in there and I'm not sure why. And uh, I'm going to try and remember to shake up my colors. If you put your colors in bottles, you probably are always going to want to put a marble in there. Um, my pouring recipe requires that I shake my bottles before every use because otherwise it separates out. So I try and be diligent about that. Whether I actually am or not is, um, <laughs> is another point entirely, I guess. I like this turquoise and I want some of that in there. I'm not sure what's going to happen with this. I think it would be okay if it were mostly all one color, but We'll see what happens. I haven't tried to make stems, actual stem colors before. And I think I want some of that darker. That mystique from Art Minds. And then I'm just going to keep going. I don't think I should that. You can tell the difference here. If you can see the lighter color here, that's the difference. And there we go. We're all set. I think I like the lightest color. Oh, I got one more light color. It's been hanging around forever. Yeah, that's a good stem color. Let's just put a bunch of that in there. And I'm going to put that aside and hope that that stays well. And that I don't need an edge catcher. And I'm going to try and shove my bottles out of the way. So I can still see them. And get ready to use this incredibly large, twice primed, with my, my black primer and nice and dry. And whether I can do this or not right now is an interesting question because I want my flowers up at the top and I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to put my glasses on my face. Always a good idea for me. And I see that I have no magenta in here. And I'm going to amend that. Oh yeah, perfect. Right now, I'm going to put a little more of that white right with it. And what else? I like, I like to actually have the red when I can find it. When I, when I can find it. When I can find it. No, I can't find it. Why can I not find it? Well, I got some other red here. <laughs> That'll have to do. Let's just throw a little bit of that. Yeah, that's a little zippy. We'll see when this comes out what I might want to do. 
or I'll just keep adding colors to it now like I like I can't control myself. We know that about me. So here goes nothing. I'm going to grab a shovel full and I'm going to try and wipe it off. Am I? On the bottom of the container. I'm going to oh, I'm going to lift my canvas. Grab a little more. I'm just going to keep going. I don't know what this is going to be. Honest to God, I don't. But I do like the fact that that went all the way around there. Gotta do what I gotta do. I may not use that green in this at all. Who knows? I'm gonna dip my shovel. And probably drag my shovel. I think I'm gonna drag that right there that little piece. Join that up. I like this over here, but I think I want more. There we go. There's more. I think I'm going to drag that paint right out of there keep the whole thing going on. Probably just move that right over there. We got some great colors in here. Wicked. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with any of this yet, except for look at it. I think maybe I have more colors than I know what to do with in my pan, but... I seldom give myself permission to dot. Just a little bit more color left. And I want a bunch of colors in the bottom of this, so I'm going to just put them in. And that will be, what will it be? I think it will be a bunch of gold very quickly and some orange. I'm going to squeeze them all right into each other and I'm going to make a really strange mix if I possibly can manage it including some black maybe some white and I'll show you as soon as I'm done. There's some other turquoise. Where's my dark purple? There it is. I just did that. So, here is my mix. Oh boy. <laughs> I want some of that darker teal. And do I want some white too? I probably do. I want some pearl. I don't know why I'm so nervous today.
and I am definitely nervous today. Let that flow right over the side. Let the shovel help drag it down. Get some of this fill and empty. Use what's on my shovel and pull some. See whatever else is left in this container and do the same thing with it. He use a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula. Not interested in wasting any paint at all. And it all makes interesting patterns. Now it's time to find out <laughs> if I really want to um, play with that green or not. I might. I'm very tempted to go ahead. Do I have a stretcher bar? I do. Cool. got all kinds of drips and that was a big risk and I hope it didn't completely screw up my top but I needed to find out. No, I kind of like it. It's okay. I'm just going to lead a few things around with my bamboo skewer because I have nice thick paint and I can get away with that right now. Maybe even better than I expected. I've got a pan of paint in my way. And a love bug on my arm. And what else have I got? I've got that dish of uh, that dish of stem color. Some interesting things happening. And I'm not done making interesting things happen. And we might run out of time. Actually, I got two minutes left, so that's pretty cool. Just taking advantage of the patterns that are here. Trying to add some funky texture in there. Now, do I want this other color that I've got in the bottom of my pan? Can I even get it out? What do I want to do with it is the question. Trying to learn, teach myself how to layer some stuff. So it looks like things are going over each other. I 
All right, so the old phrase, here goes nothing, comes to mind. Except for I haven't quite got there. Yet. Do I want, if anything? Let's grab a... I don't want to completely destroy my negative space, but it's looking like it's bound to be the way it's going. I haven't used a torch. I am going to grab that color. Where is that color gone? There we go. Oh yeah, there's far too much of this here. Let's grab just a little bit. Scrape it off. Let's, ooh, yep, pan of color. <laughs> too many pans of color into the bucket. Let's just grab a little tiny bit of this, hopefully. One down. I put that down on a level. I can't believe it didn't fall all of it out, fall out. That's okay. That means I've got two minutes left to tell you guys whatever I'm going to tell you, which I can't possibly tell you all of, except for I do sell my artwork. I really appreciate your thumbs up. Thank you for helping me out. It tells the YouTube algorithm to uh, give me better placement on YouTube. If you watch more videos, it'll do the same thing. It'll be very helpful to me, and I appreciate it. Oh, I just dumped some of my paint like I was afraid I was going to. I'm going to let that go right there. See if maybe we can add some things that uh, are a little different than usual. Whoops, that was not what I thought it was. Anyway, so I have PayPal and Patreon. If you want to join this month's contest, you're welcome to. Uh, there are five different paintings for the June 8th drawing, and uh, you can be included in that by donating to help support the studio. If you want to be of assistance and you can't help support the studio, then, um, like I said, I sell my artwork. Um, I also give lessons at the house in Spring Hill. And what else? Oh my god, I'm so focused on this instead of everything else. Anyway, so check out the end screens at the end of the video for uh, videos that will share that information with you. Because there's over 600 videos on the playlist, and the more you watch, including the commercials, the more you help me keep doing this, and I really appreciate that, you guys, very much. I'm just going to keep working on this for a while and hope that I can uh, get enough things out of my way to continue on and be done. I'm not even sure you could see all of that, but uh, hopefully you can see some of this. And I'm going to continue on, even if you're going to be gone. This is Priscilla Battelle in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard going, Phew! I'm nervous. <laughs> That's the last minute, and I am not done by any stretch, but I'm not going to run this again, so I hope to see you guys in another video. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida, saying I love you guys. Thanks for all the nice compliments. Thank you for always sharing your wonderful comments. I appreciate that, and thank you for all the support you've given me to keep me painting up until now. I really, support, I really appreciate that very much, too, and uh, I'll see you anon.